Hi everyone, uh, my name is Mel Lenehan. I'm the Principal of Firkoff College of Adult Education. Um, thanks to Jo for inviting me several times uh, to undertake uh, this amuse-bouche for the Bouet Epi. Um, I thought I'd talk to you um, about um, some practical tips really. Um, We've all kind of moved into this new online uh, virtual world, which uh, I have to say I am getting a bit tired of. Um, wall to wall Zoom meetings on a daily basis is, uh, I'm finding pretty exhausting. Um, but anyway, that is where we are. And uh, in terms of making the best of that situation, I thought I'd talk to you um, a little bit about some um, sociocratic methods that I think um, we've implemented in terms of our own uh, meetings and are working really well. Um, so the college has been involved and I've been involved in looking at and training uh, around sociocracy for a couple of years now. Uh, sociocracy is a uh, form of what's called dynamic governance um, and at its heart, it's really about um, ensuring that every voice is heard um, when you are um, in meetings and particularly in meetings which require um, good decisions to be made. And let's face it, that's most meetings. Um, so um, sociocracy, I could talk to you about for days, so we don't have time to do that, but if you're interested in it, in it, I would recommend an organisation called Sociocracy for All. Um, they're an international network of people who are interested in sociocracy um, and they do a lot of training and have a lot of free resources um, online. So the two things that I wanted to talk to you about today, and they're particularly about how to manage meetings so that every voice is heard. Um, and, and that you get the most kind of effective and um, positive uh, outcomes of uh, meetings of which we are all spending lots of our time in, I'm sure. Um, so the first one that I wanted to talk to you about was something called check-ins. Um, neither of these two are revolutionary, but actually they have a massive impact, I think, in terms of how effective meetings are and how effective um, decisions that come out of those meetings are. So the first one is uh, called check-ins. So at the start of every meeting, whoever is facilitating or chairs the meeting will um, pretty much work in a round. So you call on um, uh, people and you usually call uh, at least two names out. Um, so people are aware that they're kind of coming next. And the way that we start every meeting at Fircroft <coughs> In the, either in the digital world or when we were in the real world, is to check in. And by checking in, you basically tell the group of people that you're with um, how you are arriving in that meeting. So how you're feeling um, and um, yeah, how you're presenting yourself. And it's a kind of, it's a, per, it's a, it's a definite start to a meeting when you could all be sitting around kind of having a chat and a catch up really. So you go in around making sure that everybody has the opportunity to um, uh, arrive and um, you basically say, how are you feeling? So it could be, yeah, I'm feeling good, really up for this meeting, or it could be, as is sometimes the case with my meetings in Faircroft, if they're in the mornings, I've been sitting in the car for two and a half hours and, uh, you know, my head needs to arrive in this space. Um, they're really effective in ensuring that we present our authentic selves to each meeting um, and make sure that uh, we are kind of appreciating where everyone is. If you've had a, a night of not sleeping or you've got other things on your mind, you've had a busy day, you know, it's important that other people within that space um, can hear that and can recognise that really. And I think it really, really does support those uh, positive interactions between people really and it also reminds you that we're all arriving in these spaces with um, different head spaces with different um, different kind of feelings different levels of energy um, and and that's important to recognize we also 
check out at the end of all the meetings. So it's again really important to create those spaces whereby um, you can acknowledge how you're feeling about the meeting. Um, hopefully most people will be saying that they're feeling positive about things. Um, and, and it kind of draws a line under it really and allows that kind of headspace again to think, okay, that's, that's that meeting done and I can draw a line and kind of move on. I think ensuring that everybody arrives at that meeting and presents themselves is a really powerful and effective way of ensuring that whether our meetings are in, a, in our physical world or in our virtual world, that every voice matters and that every voice is heard. Thanks. See you all.